Alfonso II of Aragon. By her second husband, Leopold III of Austria, 1073-1136, Agnes of Wablingen was the mother of Gertrude of Babenberg, whose daughter by Vladislaus II, Richesa of Poland, married Alfonso VII of Leon and Castile. Alfonso VII was the son of Raymond of Burgundy and Uraca, the daughter of Alfonso VI of Leon and Castile and Constance of Burgundy, whose marriage was orchestrated with the Abbey of Cluny. When Alfonso VI died in 1109, his daughter Uraca of Castile succeeded to the united throne of Leon, Castile, and Galicia and desired to assure her son's prospects. In 1111, Diego Gelmire, Bishop of Compostela and the Count of Treba, crowned and anointed the six-year-old Alfonso King of Galicia in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. By Richeza, Alfonso VII was the father of another daughter named Sancha, who married Alfonso II of Aragon, 1157-1196, the grandson of Ramiro II and Agnes of Aquitaine, daughter of William IX of Aquitaine, known as the Troubadour, grandfather of Eleanor of Aquitaine. Alfonso VII, who called the Emperor, El Emperador, was the first to use the title Emperor of all Spain. He was a patron of poets, including, probably, the troubadour Marcabru, as was William X of Aquitaine. By 1125, he had inherited the formerly Muslim kingdom of Toledo. In 1126, after the death of his mother, he was crowned in Leon and immediately began the recovery of the Kingdom of Castile, which was then under the domination of Alfonso I the Battler, who married Alfonso VII's mother Uraca after she had been married to his father Raymond. By the Peace of Tamira of 1127, Alfonso I the Battler had recognized Alfonso VII. In March 1126, Alfonso Jordan, 1103-1148, the son of Raymond IV of Toulouse, was at the court of Alfonso VII when he acceded to the throne. With the death of Raymond IV of Toulouse, the family's estates and Toulouse went to Alfonso Jordan, who was born in Tripoli. Alfonso Jordan was Raymond IV's son by his third wife, Elvira of Castile, daughter of Alfonso VI of Leon and Castile, and sister of Uraca and Teresa who married Raymond of Burgundy and his cousin Henry of Burgundy respectively. In 1119, Alfonso Jordan invaded and recovered part of Toulouse which had been claimed by William IX of Aquitaine in 1114, and gained full control until 1123. Alfonso next had to fight for his rights in Provence against Count Raymond Berenger III of Barcelona, achieving peace in 1125. In August 1147, Alfonso Jordan set out on the Second Crusade. He arrived at Acre in 1148 but had made enemies and was not able to participate in the crusade he had joined. He died at Caesarea, and there were accusations of poisoning, usually leveled either against Eleanor of Aquitaine, wife of Louis, or Melisend, the daughter of Baldwin II and Morphia of Armenia. 23 According to the Chronica Adiphonsi Imperatoris, Alfonso Jordan and Suero Vermudez took the city of Leon from opposition magnates and handed it over to Alfonso VII, and records that Count Alfonso of Toulouse, was in all things obedient to him Alfonso VII. 24. When Alfonso the Battler died without descendants in 1134, he willed his kingdom to the Templars and Hospitallers. 25. The aristocracy of both kingdoms rejected the bequest. Garcia Ramirez, Count of Monzon was elected in Navarre, while Alfonso I's brother Ramiro II succeeded in Aragon. Ramiro II was chosen over Alfonso VII of Leon and Castile. In several skirmishes, Alfonso VII defeated the joint army and subjected Navarre and Aragon. In the end, however, the combined forces of the Navarre and Aragon were too much for his control. At this time, he helped Ramon Berenger III in his wars to unite the old march of Barcelona. Ramon became a Templar towards the end of his life. 26 Ramiro II then had a daughter, Petronilla, whom he had married Ramon's son and Berengaria's brother, Count Ramon Berenger IV of Barcelona, c. 1114, 1162, 
thus unifying Aragon and Barcelona into the crown of Aragon. Alfonso VII of Leon's first wife was Berengula, daughter of Ramon Berenguer III. Among their children were Ferdinand II of Leon, was the founder of the Order of Santiago. Ferdinand II's sister Constance married Louis VII of France after he had been married to Eleanor of Aquitaine, and was the mother of Margaret, who married Henry the Young King, Eleanor's son by her first marriage to Henry II. Constance's brother's brother, Sancho VI of Navarre, married Sancha of Castile, the daughter of Alfonso VII of Leon and Castile. Their sister, Margaret of Navarre, married William I of Sicily, the fourth son of Roger II of Sicily. Constance's sister Sancha married Sancho VI of Navarre, the son of Garcia Ramirez of Navarre and Margaret of Legal, daughter of Rotro III's sister Juliana and Gilbert, Lord of Legal. Sancho VI's sister Blanche of Navarre married Constance's brother Sancho III of Castile. Their son, Alfonso VIII of Castile, a patron of the Order of Santiago, married Eleanor, the sister of Richard the Lionheart and Henry the Young King. Alfonso VII died suddenly in the middle of the war against the Moors in 1157. Richesa then married Ramon Berenguer II, Count of Provence, c. 1135-1166, nephew of Ramon Berenguer IV, Count of Barcelona. Around 1166, Richesa was betrothed by her cousin Frederick Barbarossa to a third husband, Raymond V, Count of Toulouse, 1134-1194, the son of Alfonso Jordan. Before he was engaged to Richesa of Poland, Raymond V of married Constance of France, daughter of King Louis VI of France, who was the widow of Eustace IV, Count of Boulogne. At the same time, Richesa's daughter from Ramon Berenguer II was engaged to Raymond VI. Raymond V wanted with the engagement to become more closely tied to the Hohenstaufen dynasty and took full control over the county of Provence. Genealogy of Alfonso II of Aragon, the Troubadour. William VIII, Duke of Aquitaine plus Gars and of Perigord. Agnes plus Alfonso VI of Leon and Castile. William VIII, Duke of Aquitaine plus Hildegard of Burgundy, D of Duke Robert I of Burgundy. Agnes, died 1097, plus Peter I of Aragon. William IX of Aquitaine, the first troubadour, plus Philippa, G.D. of Raymond IV of Toulouse. William X, Duke of Aquitaine. Eleanor of Aquitaine plus Henry II of England. Henry the Young King. Richard Lionheart plus Berengaria of Navarre, D. of Sancho VI of Navarre and Sancha of Castile. Eleanor plus Alfonso VIII of Castile. Joan plus William II of Sicily, grandson of Roger II of Sicily, and later Raymond VI, Count of Toulouse, leader of the Prince's Crusade. John, King of England plus Isabella of Angoulême. Eleanor of Aquitaine plus Henry II of England plus Louis VII of France. Marie of France, sponsor of Grail author Chrétien de Troyes, plus Henry I, Count of Champagne, nephew of Henry of Blois, abbot of Glastonbury, bishop of Winchester and author of the Pearl's Vaz. Raymond of Poitiers. Agnes, Queen of Aragon plus Ramiro II of Aragon, S of Sancho Ramirez plus Felicia de Rousey. Petronilla plus Ramon Berenguer IV, Count of Barcelona. Alfonso II of Aragon plus Sancha of Castile, D. Alfonso VII of Castile plus Richesa of Poland. Peter II of Aragon. Eleanor plus Raymond VI of Toulouse. Sancha plus Count Raymond VII of Toulouse. Alfonso II of Aragon plus Adelaide de Berlat, mother of Raymond Roger Trencaval, called Perceval by Wolfram von Eschenbach. However, the firm opposition of Alfonso II of Aragon, the son of Ramon and Petronilla, soon cancelled both betrothals, and with the help of the Genos, he began a war against Raymond V that lasted eight years. Alfonso II was a noted poet of his time and a close friend of King Richard the Lionheart. Called the Chaste or the Troubadour, Alfonso II ruled from 1162 the combined possessions of his parents, resulting in what modern historians call the Crown of Aragon. 
The political center of the crown of Aragon was Zaragoza, though the de facto capital and leading cultural, administrative and economic center was Barcelona. After the disappearance of the Caliphate of Córdoba at the beginning of the 11th century, the Taifa of Zaragoza arose, one of the most important Taifas of Al-Andalus, leaving a great artistic, cultural and philosophical legacy. Alfonso II ascended the united throne of Aragon and Barcelona as Alfonso, in deference to the Aragonese, to honor Alfonso I the Battler. 27. Alfonso II married Sancha of Castile in, in 1174. Their son was Peter II, 1174 76, 1213, King of Aragon and Lord of Montpellier. Their daughter Constance married firstly King Imre of Hungary and secondly Frederick II, Holy Roman Emperor, 1194 1250, the grandson of Frederick Barbarossa and his consort Beatrix of Burgundy. At the age of three, Frederick II was crowned King of Sicily as a co ruler with his mother, Constance of Hauteville, the daughter of Roger II of Sicily. His other royal title was King of Jerusalem by virtue of marriage and his connection with the Sixth Crusade. Alfonso II and Sanchez's other daughter Eleanor was the fourth wife of Raymond VI of Toulouse, 1156-1222, the son of Raymond V and Constance of France. Raymond VI had earlier been married to Joan Plantagenet, the sister of Richard the Lionheart.